with another video and today I wanted to bring you all a natural hair product review. I recently just uh, I wanted to do a quick braid out on my hair and test out this new product. It's from African Pride. It's uh, Shea Miracle Moisture Intense Bouncy Curls Pudding. That's what the bottle looks like here. Um, and let me read what it's supposed to do. It says it's for natural hair. It defines and elongates, instantly moisturize, and it tames frizz. It doesn't have any sulfates, no mineral oil, no pravens, and no glutens. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and take my hair down and show you all what it's looking like. Um, as far as directions is concerned, it says you're supposed to rub a generous amount of pudding between your palms, gently finger comb section from ends to roots, from sorry, from roots to ends, and then reapply, continue stretching and elongating curls until satisfied with definition or it says natural styling suggestions. Try two stand twist by applying pudding on to damp hair or dry hair, twist in each section. The more you twist, the more you can define, the more you can define. Air dry, blow dry with diffuser under a hood, untwist each section for a fuller look or just leave twisted for a tighter look. So I actually did it the second way in which I washed my hair and applied this to freshly washed hair and I just braided it up in four different sections. I don't have any clips of that because I'm trying to get better about like applying products and doing these natural hair reviews. I, this is kind of an impromptu video. I actually wasn't even going to do a product. I wasn't even going to do a review. However, I just realized I used a new product so I thought it'd be cool to show you all. And I actually did put, go underneath the hooded dryer. I do have a clip of that because I just did a review on this dryer. So I went underneath that hooded dryer. I'm going to leave a clip somewhere in the video here. And um, this is me just kind of, you know, trying it out and seeing how I liked it. It did work. My hair is dry. Typically, it takes three days to dry my hair. My hair got dry in about three and a half hours, which is really good for me. I'm very satisfied with that, um, can, all things considered. So normally when I take down my twist, I just apply some oil. This is Jamaican black castor oil and extra virgin olive oil. I normally just apply it all over my hair and then begin the takedown process. So that is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to start with this braid here and see what my curl definition is looking like. My hair is very soft, it's very moisturized. So I'm going to just take it down and see what we're talking about. This is the first braid taken down. Definition looks really good, I must say. I will be interested to see what the pull apart is going to look like. But I'm going to go ahead and take all of my hair down right now. I'm going to do the, the rest and then I will be right back. out and this is what it is looking like so I'm gonna give y'all a close-up of the curl pattern here all right so that's what it looks like taken down there is some pull apart happening already which is always a good sign for me when I do my braid outs um, so let me give y'all a 360 I haven't fluffed anything out or anything like that so this is what the front looks like okay this is what the right side looks like there's a lot of movement. The hair feels really soft. That's what the right side looks like. And the back of my hair, okay. Again, I'm sure there's like very defined parts and stuff. So I'm gonna just go through. Typically what I do when I do a braid out is I just kind of mess up the roots 
one to that just helps to add a little bit of volume okay and then let's see what this pull apart is looking like you know so like I said there is some natural separation happening which is really nice so I'm gonna just go through and pull apart and see what happens I have a feeling this pull apart is gonna be kind of frizzy though like it's not gonna be like my Cantu where I can pull apart and each of the strands are gonna be really defined it's not looking like anyway yeah it's gonna make it a little frizzy but I think it's still gonna be a pretty nice nice braid out overall so I'm gonna go through and just separate and I'm gonna just fast forward through this part because I'm sure y'all don't want to see me pull apart for the next 10 minutes or so uh oh got a little knot here right that's the case you got to give it some TLC and work it through and boom there you go it's gone so I'm gonna just pull random strands and just separate just to fluff it out the separation seems pretty nice and easy it's kind of melting apart which is really nice got another big clump here so just pull apart pull apart So y'all can already see the difference between what a side looks like that's been pulled apart. You see how much more volume and body it has versus a side that has not been pulled apart, right? Like there's more volume, there's more body, there's more pieces that need to be pulled apart. But you see, So that's the difference over here. So that's one side pulled apart, this side isn't. So let me go ahead and fluff this side out as well. Look at that so this is what my hair looks like all fluffed out and ready to go I'm gonna give y'all I'm gonna give y'all a 360 really quick okay so this is what the front looks like mm hmm this is what the side looks like okay this is what the other side looks like and then this is what the back looks like. So this is my hair fluffed out with me using, I'm going to show y'all the curl definition here. So y'all see, like the curls are defined, but they're still, to me, a little bit of frizz. It doesn't look bad though, honestly. It's pretty comparative to the Cantu. Um, but I definitely would say I like the Cantu better. The smell of it is just a little bit better. So yeah, I think I like this product. Pull this apart here too. Okay, so yeah, so let's go over pros and cons of this product. So the pros would be that it's really lightweight. It does leave your hair feeling really nice and smooth. The smell of it, let's see. It smells nice, it kind of smells like banana pudding. So I guess that kind of goes along with the name of it, pudding. So it smells like banana pudding, so it smells nice. Um, and yeah, it's pretty lightweight. You get a pretty decent size. It's 15 ounces, and I think I paid a couple of bucks for it. I don't even remember how much I paid. I've had this for a really long time. Um, 
cons of it would be that it just leaves just a little bit of frizz um that's probably really the only con that I could give it um it's yeah I like the fact that it's lightweight this is something perfect I'm getting ready to put my hair in crochet braids so this is something that's really perfect um for me to go ahead and braid my hair up and put it into a protective style I like to normally put products that that are more lightweight on my hair when I'm doing uh styles like that so yeah I would say if you all have not tried this go ahead and and give it a try it's only a couple of bucks so it's kind of worth it to try it and if it doesn't work you know you can always just you know it was only a couple bucks that you wasted but I think it's worth it to get you know it leaves my hair feeling pretty nice and soft and big and fluffy so yeah all right y'all so that's my review on this uh African Pride Shea Miracle Bouncy Curls Pudding um leave your thoughts in the comments down below let me know if you've tried the product and how it worked out on your hair did you have similar results were the results better were they worse i'd love to hear your thoughts so yeah leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye